All right, well, let's recap all of this year's budgets, big announcements, the big spending, starting with health. They're removing $5 co-payment for all prescriptions. The cost of that will be $618 million over four years. There's also more money to help reducing wait lists. That will cost $118 million and $100 million to boost primary care. There's $63 million for 500 extra nurses and $75 million more for Pharmac. For parents, this is a big one. Two-year-olds are now included in 20 hours of free early childhood education from March 2024. That is at a big cost of $1.2 billion over four years. That saves eligible parents about $133 a week. Subsidies for childcare centres rise by 5.3%, costing $260 million over four years. Post-cyclone infrastructure, also a big one. Telecommunications, power and roads, that will be a six billion spend. This is called a national resilience plan, set up with initial funding of that six billion. The first priority though is repair and rebuild of telco energy and roading after Auckland flooding and the cyclone Gabrielle. Public transport, $327 million here for free public transport for primary school aged children. Half price public transport for under 25s from the 1st of July. That will benefit about 774,000 people and there are also going to be pay rises for bus drivers. All right, housing next. $403 million to expand the scheme for heating and insulation installations to 100,000 more homes. Also 3,000 new public housing places. Onto the economy. Inflation is forecast to drop to 3% by next September. Treasury is no longer forecasting a recession. You heard applause for that in the House this afternoon. That's due to the cyclone recovery that will stimulate the economy. Unemployment, uh, unemployment is forecast to peak at 5.3% in late 2024. And GDP is forecast at 3.2% this year, dropping to 1% next year. All right, looking at our fiscal position, the books... We will return to surplus in 2025 to 2026. That is delayed by one year. Net debt is forecast to peak at 22% in 2024. It's currently sitting at 19%. On Treasury's numbers, it will eventually drop back down to 18% of GDP as well. Just looking at the surprises, because there's always some of these in any budget, there will be a $34 million increase in funding for Te Matatini over two years, up from $3 million a year right now. The festival will get more funding than the, the, than the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra for the first time. There will also be a new 20% rebate for game development studios, allowing them to claim up to $3 million a year in rebates. That's been quite a controversial one for the tech industry. Well, Liam, we were told that this would be a no-frills budget. How frilly is it, do you think? I think there's a, a few more frills there than there might have been, but it's, it's, it's not... Look, there's nothing huge and epic there in scale. There's a little bit more spending uh, targeted uh, at, at kids, at young people, people with families who are struggling. I think what it is, it's, uh, um, it's interesting to see the Labour government make a call about um, the kind of government they're going to be going into this election. Um, they had a choice to sort of work with the Reserve Bank to beat inflation fast, you know, the, the fiscally austere and, and work with the, the Reserve Bank's uh, hikes to try and get on top of inflation and have us throughout the other side. That's not kind of happening. Instead, they've, they've sort of taken a don't panic approach. We can live with a, a slower decline. It is happening. Um, the upside is we don't have the recession. We don't have unemployment going as high. So I guess they feel, they look at the polls and they think um, we, can, we can roll through this election. Uh, the direction of travel will be okay. We won't be rebalancing the economy as fast. And that is a concern if something else comes along and uh, hits us out of the blue. Um, but it is, um, you know, it, it, it's an interesting one in terms of it's Labour being still being a Labour government, not not say, not sort of adjusting uh, the, the, the sort of central philosophy because we need to sort of um, get inflation under control fast. While still staying under that 30% debt ceiling that they've set for themselves too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Liam. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.